Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate you guys. Um, to my subscribers, hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. To um, those of you who have just been kind of popping by and visiting, appreciate you all as well. For all viewers, I invite you all to check out my playlist. You can check out my videos as, and it will give you my most recently uploaded videos. And then you can also check out my playlist. This will give you an idea of what my channel is about. It's also an opportunity to navigate and make the most of your time here on my channel. So you will find videos that's categorized by different topics, such as church, her toxic leadership, forgiveness, once saved, always saved, baptism, have I blasphemed the Holy Spirit, um, sex, the dangers of it, being single and saved, being married, all these different things as they are prophecy, um, journal entries. There's just a variety of things that the Lord has laid on my heart to put there. And I'm actually going to be adding another one, which will be about um, toxic people, you know, toxic family members, individuals, friends. I have videos already on that. So if you want to find those videos you can go make sure you're in my channel and in my search engine on my channel you can put in keywords such as you know let's say toxic you put that in it'll pull up a bunch of different things if you want to know certain things about you know sex meaning you know the dangers of it or what it was meant for just put in the word sex just put in some keywords and it'll pull up videos however that's why i try to have the playlist right and then also as i said if you're looking for things about toxic family members, put in the word toxic and you see some things that will pull up. But that is a playlist that I'm going to be working on and going through all my videos and putting that in there as well. Because I find that a lot of people are sending me emails or asking me questions about videos that I already have or asking me to do a video about topics I've already covered. So this will help you guys. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> I always have my fan on and then yeah my throat does some stuff guys so the word today that has been in I believe the Lord has impressed upon me to share with you all today is remember who you are remember who you are remember where God has brought you from remember how he built you up remember who you were and where God was taking you before these friendships that you're now in Remember who you were, who you are, and remember where God was taking to you, taking you to, and where you were in Him before this relationship. Because what is in my spirit is that there's a lot of you that you're losing your identity based on the criticisms and based on the words of other people. This could be someone that you're in a relationship with, that you're married to. This can be friends and associates this can be people in churches that you have recently joined or you've been a part of and what is happening is there's this thing that they're doing you see this is the nature of the devil you see satan when he he brings things to you and when you partake in it which it is your own choice he will tempt you with certain things but once you have once you endorse it and once you partake in it and he immediately brings you to feel very guilty, makes you feel very dirty, uh, unworthy once you've partaken or once you, you know, you engaged in whatever it is, whether it's an angry outburst, whether you fell into sexual immorality, you did something wrong, you stole, you said something wrong. Um, the minute there's that temptation to react in that emotion, and so, but the minute you do it, the devil brings condemnation. So there are people in your lives or in your life that may be doing some things. You were a calm, collected, reasonable person before you met these individuals. But then once they came in your life and you allowed them you see because even with the devil when he brings temptation we allow it okay we can say no get behind me satan resist him and he goes away but when you allow him he comes in and he can do some things and then leave you feeling 
empty and feeling like, you know, reject the mente. So this is what people will do. These individuals that you've allowed in your life based on trust, based on perhaps they kept making you feel that you are wrong and you're being too harsh. So you provide an olive branch perhaps and open your doors to these individuals, this person, and they do some things, right? And you're you're remaining cool, cool and calm and collected and you're talking to them and you're, you sit with them and you're forgiving them and you sit and you agree on how to better the friendship, the relationship. You agree on certain things and you find the individuals, they renege, they go back on the things that they say. So they do things that hurts you. And then what you find is that your base personality, your flesh might kick in. You might start reacting to them a certain way. You may start, you know, just being angry with them. You may have had an angry outburst. You find that you are no longer who you used to be around them because they're so messy. You may be hanging around a group of people that's messy. So you feel like you always have to one up them. You got to, you know, step your game up and know how to clap back, respond back, insult back, say back, stir the pot a little bit. Or you may be in a relationship where you used to be nice and you're not nice anymore. I want you to understand that what God is telling me to share with you all today is to remember who you are. Don't bring, do not, do not buy into the lie. You have to look not at how you're reacting, even though this is important. And I'm going to get to that. Stop looking at how you're reacting Stop looking at the things that they're pointing out about you and look at the person and the individuals that you are allowing in your life. Stop looking at the things that they want you to look at. Oh, look at how you reacted to me. Oh, I can't believe you said that to me. Oh, I can't believe you did this to me. God is saying, stop looking at your reaction and look at who you have in your life. Look at the person. Look at the people that you're surrounded with that you've allowed in your home, that you've allowed in your space, that you invited in the secret place, that you share deep things with. Your reaction is based on who you have in your life and in your circle. And God is saying, I've warned you about these individuals. I warned you early. Nevertheless, God is faithful. So it's just time for you to remove yourself from these individuals Time for you to end certain things, some relationships that's bringing out the worst of you. And you have to look at the choices that you have made, my brothers and sisters. Look at you. Don't look at them um, when it comes to this, this particular thing here. When you disobey God, you can't bring them into it. God spoke to you. God warned you early. God told you ahead of time. The first, the second, the third time, the very first time before they had that opportunity. There was a check in your spirit about this person. There's a check in your spirit about this group, but you went along with it. So when it comes to you choosing to disobey the voice of God or ignore the voice of God or reason with the voice of God, then this is between you and him. And so what God wants you to do is get back to a place of repentance with him. Acknowledge your mistakes. Acknowledge your sins. Allow him to build you back up, to put you back on course of where he had you and take you to where he needs you to go for the work that you need to do for the kingdom of God. And it is time for you to dispose of these relationships and move ahead. It doesn't mean you hate them, my brothers and sisters, because we cannot hate, we cannot have unforgiveness, but even in your wounds and your hurt, God understands that pain takes time, but you must be willing to forgive and be willing to give the offense over to the Father and allow him to walk you through the process of healing. God knows that you will not instantly say, God will, God knows that you can't say, you won't say, the minute you say, I, Lord, I forgive them, it does not mean that pain goes away. And God is not expecting you to get over it. But what he wants you to do is get into his presence so he can take you through the process where you can truly be set 
free. Otherwise, you're going to find years later, this person has moved on, these individuals moved on, and you are still carrying a baby, a baby for them, spiritually, of hatred and malice. You have a little baby with you, and that baby grows to a toddler, and the toddler becomes an adolescent, and this adolescent becomes a young adult, and the young adult becomes an adult, and then middle age. You're carrying the offense and you are feeding it and you are you are bringing it up that is not what god wants for you so allow him to heal you to restore you to make you whole and stop believing the lies of the enemy because people that go through their lives hurting people be manipulative guys they are children of the devil Children of the devil talks about that in Matthew when Jesus was uh, chastising the Pharisees and scribes. Children of the devil, they will know how to manipulate, shift, change. They're shapeshifters. They will know how to turn it on you, knowing that they have lied. They will lie, ask you to forgive them, and do it again. And sometimes they won't ask you forgiveness. They'll just turn it on you and manipulate what was once they said was right is now wrong. And what's wrong they said is now right. So you will never be able to keep up with these individuals. And if you try to, you will find yourself on a destructive path. So God wants you to cut your losses, get in line with him and believe his voice and believe his word and believe what he has said to you. Do not buy into the lies. Do not ingest seeds of lies and deceit that comes from broken and darkened vessels, children of the devil. People will want to sugarcoat that. But when you are living for the enemy, not that you made a mistake, but these individuals live to lie. They live to manipulate. They live to deceive. They are children of the devil. So be not partakers with them. And do not allow them to germinate seeds of darkness within you to keep you from doing what God has called you to do. All right, guys, be prayerful and be blessed. Peace out.